Welcome to my channel on CD Made Easy. Today I'm going to show you how to develop a rectangular based pyramid with the given information. We have 65 mm as the height, which is 50 plus 15. Then the base is 45 by 50. That makes it a rectangular base. This same principle can be applied to a square based pyramid. Guys, kindly subscribe to my channel. Please click on the red button, subscribe. So this is a rectangular pyramid. It has five faces, five vertices, and eight edges. These are the faces. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. It has five vertices. One, two, three, four, and five. Then eight edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So the first step is to draw the given view as shown. Draw the elevation. When you look at the front view of a pyramid, especially a square base or a rectangular pyramid, you will see it as a rectangle. This is the front view. When you look at it from this direction, you will see a triangle that gives the front view of a rectangular base pyramid. So when you're done drawing with the given dimension, move on to the base. Label the base as A, B, C, D. You can as well use any number one, two, three, four. To draw the plan in section, project line from section PP to the plan. This is section PP. Project line using your set square Bring out your set square. There are two sections on the elevation. This is section one or point one, and this is point two. So we are going to project them downward to the plan. So you place your set square on the first section. When you place it on the first section, It will cut through the plan. It will cut through the diagonal at two points, one and two. Take it to the second point. Repeat the same procedure. Draw your vertical line. It will cut through the diagonals at point one and point two. The next thing is to asterisk the point one two, three, and four. Then you connect them together. Connect them, join this to this, join this point to this, join this to this, join this to this, and you cross hash the plan in section. So now is to draw the true shape of courts. How do we draw the true shape? The first thing is to project perpendicular lines from the section. Place your set square at the two points. This is the first, this is the second. Place your set square on the first one. Let it make an angle of 90 degrees. Then you draw your perpendicular line. Place it on the second point and repeat the same procedure. When you place it, you also draw the second line. After which you need to draw parallel line from the section. So this is how to draw the parallel line. Bring out your set square, place it by the side of the section of the cutting plane, which is section PP. Now move, place your ruler at the base of the 
set square and move your set square away from the cutting plane. Make sure your ruler is firm to your paper while you freely move the set square. You can as well take it to the back to cross check if your line is parallel. So you take it, you move it, only the set square away from the cutting plane. Remember to label your plan as well. This is E, F, G, H. Draw a thin line across the diagonals of the plan. The next thing to do is to take the distance between the center line. This red line is the center line. From the center line to a point G is the same thing as the center line to a point F. On the other side, the center line to point H is the same thing as the center line to point E. So we need to take the distance and transfer it to the elevation in order to get the true shape of court. How do you do that? Place your ruler or your compass, take the radius from the center line to point G, the center line to point G, which is less than one, less than one is like 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Transfer it to the elevation, just the same way. You can see that is less than one, then you asteric it, do it above and below, because whatever you have from center line to G is the same thing as center line to H. So you can confirm your measurements, just be sure you have the same distance from center line to G and to F. So when you're done with the first side, go back to the second side, repeat the same procedure. Take the distance from the center line to H, which is like 1.5. Transfer it to the other side. Ensure you have the same distance. So just try to confirm that you have the same measurements. It's more than one. So you repeat it from the center line to H and from the center line to E. Once you are done, you asteric the four points. Asteric the four points, this is point one, two, three, and four. Then you connect them together in order to get the true shape of courts. After you have connected them together, cross hash the true shape. Now is to develop the first tomb. The first tomb is the remaining part of the pyramid. After you have removed the part above the cutting plane. So the first thing to do is just to obtain the true length. In my first video on developments, you will see how to obtain the true length and how to develop a pyramid. So to obtain the true length, take the radius from the diagonals to point B, draw an arc this way, draw an arc to the center line. Then from that point, draw a vertical line above, place your set square to your red line and draw a vertical line above. Then bring out your ruler to draw a horizontal line by the, from the edge of the front elevation to intersect with the vertical line. Now you need to connect the points, which is point D to O in order to get the true length. After you have gotten the true length, 
it is time to develop the pyramid. So to develop the pyramid, just take the radius of OD, which is the radius of the true lane, draw an arc this way. When you finish drawing the arc, you go back to your plan and pick the side of the rectangle. Pick from A to B, center at D, mark it up. Pick from B to C, center here, also mark it up. Now, for a rectangular base, you need to interchange. But if it's a square-based pyramid, you just pick one of the sides, center at D, mark up, mark up four different points, one, two, three, four. But because this is a rectangular pyramid, we have to interchange the measurements. So I'll pick from, I'll pick from A to B, which is 50, center at D, strike your arc, pick from B to C, which is 45, center here, strike an arc, and you go back to C to D. Center here, strike your heart. Then the last one is D to A. Center here, strike your heart. Then when you are done with the measurements, connect all the points back to O. Connect them back to the apex, which is O. Then you can as well join the base of the pyramid. Join the base because the edges are visible lines. Join them together this way, connect from one point to the other. Now the next thing to do in order to develop the first term is to project a horizontal line from the section. Now I have point one and point two on the cotton plane. I'll project a horizontal line to the true length. This is the first one and this is the second one. After you have done that, using the radius using the radius of the first section which is radius o1 radius o to one using radius o to one this way draw an arc draw an arc Radius O to one, draw an arc. Using radius O to two. This is radius O to two. Center at O, using radius O to two. Also draw another arc. After you have done with the arc, label the base as D, A, B, C, D. I started with D and I ended it with D because when you close up the edges of a pyramid, it's still the same, it's still at the same point. So the point you're starting with is still the point you're closing it with. So now I have D, A, B, C, D because I labeled my plan to be D, A, B, C. If I'd labeled this to be one, two, three, four, I will also use the same thing as one, two, three, four, one, because I started with one. So the next thing is just to trace the point of intersection. If you want to trace the point of intersection, you start from the plan. Now, you trace point DA. This is point DA or point AD. Trace it from the plan. Move to the cutting plane. Move to the first section. Take it to the horizontal line. And asterisk the points D and A. Asterisk point of intersection of D and A. Now I'm going to asterisk D because this is another point. I'm going to take this part again. When you want to locate the point of intersection, start from the plan. 
trace it from the plan. This is AD. AD, you take it up to the elevation and you trace from the first section. Move along the horizontal line to the true length and asterisk the point on the curve. This is the arc. Anywhere you see A and D, you asterisk. You repeat the same thing for the second section. The second section, section is point B and C. I'll take point B, C. I'll trace it up to the elevation. Then I will locate the next section. When I get the next section, I'll trace it to the true length. And on the arc, I will intersect B and C. Only B and C will be intersected. So from there, I'll connect the points together. Connect the points together. These are my points of intersection. Then I'll connect them together to get the development of the first term. So I'm going to outline all the edges that are within the development of the first term. So I'll connect this to this point, to this point, connect the edges, connect the base. All the lines shown in red are going to be drawn using thick lines. This is the first term of a pyramid. It can be a square or a rectangular pyramid. So the isometric form is this. So now you can see the development of a rectangular base pyramid. So when you are done with, this is the full development while the other one is the development of the first term. This is the development of the first term. Thank you.